Hello everyone, welcome to Recursive Gaming. I just wanted to give everyone a quick little guide on the new event and what I think is the best way for a free-to-play person to take advantage of it. I'll be talking about it from the standpoint of a person who is level 110 but not able to do the hardest difficulty. For reference, my power level has climbed a little bit. I'm now at 730,000. I did get an upgrade here uh, from the Dormammu Blitz. So that helps me out a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the event. You go here, you select the difficulty. Okay, so you've got all these difficulties. They've got minimum power requirements. I cannot do this one because I don't have over a million and 14,000 power. So this is the best that I can do. Um, so unfortunately, I will not be able to get very high in the ranking. To get the highest ranking spots, I would need to be able to do that last step. As it is, uh, I am rank 41 all the way down here, okay? This is where I'm at. I might be able to climb a little bit. I'm not too far behind some of these guys. If I get lucky with some points, maybe I'll be able to get up in the 30s. Um, and this is what the rewards that I'm looking at at my level. I'm only looking at some costume draws. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be getting these four-star region costume boxes. And I don't think there's a chance of me getting it within the top 10, again, because I don't have over a million power. I can't do that last thing, so I don't get any of those points. So uh, I'm going to get a couple of costume draws. That's what you have to look forward to from getting those points and trying to score well with these uh, scores here. Okay. Um, I've managed to get top score in all of these. Um, so I might be able to increase these points a little bit, but not very much. All right. So I've already done these as well as I can um, from, you know, one or two playthroughs on each of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next step. Sorry, i got to go back here. For some reason, it doesn't send you back here. It sends you back to the beginning. And then you have to click on this again. Uh, let's take a look at this. So I spent a lot of time in the level 30 zone. And you might wonder, why am I doing the lowest difficulty instead of farming the highest difficulty for the crafting rewards? And the reason is... I wanted to complete these two. You get some nice draws. I got two card draw tickets and I got two costumes. Costumes are really useful. You need thousands and thousands of costumes um, in order to make six star costumes. It takes a lot to crunch them all up. All right, so I wanted to complete this. As soon as I completed this, I'm not gonna bother to finish these. I don't need these. It would take a long time to complete this. And even if I used all 19 days I have left, I may not be able to do it, okay? So the drop rate is still low enough for battle badges that I'm not sure there's much hope in being able to get these. So I completed this, and now I'm moving on to the next highest difficulty, level 50. Once I complete these, I'll move on to the next one. Not this one. Right here. Right? Then when I complete these, I'll move on to the last one. And then once I'm here, I'll spend all the rest of my time during the event here trying to complete this. Um, it doesn't really matter. The reason I'll be completing this stage is not so I can complete this because I actually don't have high hopes of being able to complete this. It's for the increased crafting rewards. Okay, so let's go to the Titan Seal crafting. You get these right here. Titan Seals, every time you do these, you get more of these if you're doing the higher difficulties. So there's argument for only doing the higher difficulties, not bothering to complete those battle badge collections. Um, it depends on how you feel about it. If you feel like you're getting enough Titan Seals to make it worth it at doing the higher difficulties, then mathematically that might make sense. But that being said, it only took me a day, okay? It only took me one day, and using all of my Bad Titan rewards for one day, to complete this. So it didn't take me that long, guys. Alright, so I don't expect it to take me long to complete these. And then I'll be able to spend most of the event doing all this, okay? And getting the higher crafting rewards at level 90. That being said, when I go to Titan Seal Crafting, for free to play, I recommend getting these two, okay? It depends. Uh, if you want level 110 battle badges, okay? You can't do the highest difficulty in this event, so you can't get them as drops. So this is your only chance to get these battle badges here at level 110. However, there's a real downside to these battle badges, guys, which is one reason I'm actually not recommending them for free-to-play, okay? You're, A, probably not going to be able to craft enough to get a full six-star set, all right? So it's very RNG. You could get, you know, three six-star rolls in a row, and then you only get all ones, 
right? So not only do you need to roll six star, which is hard to do, you also need to roll one for each slot. And then you need to roll the correct cores, and then you need to roll the correct stats. So by going for this, not only are you not guaranteed to get everything you need by the end of the event, and it takes 200 Titan Seals to craft each one of these. Also, take a look at this, guys. This set bonus is absolutely terrible. This set bonus only helps you in this event. I haven't seen anything in the patch notes. Nobody's talked about in the Mad Titan this being outside of this event. So it seems like these battle badges, the, the set bonus is completely useless once this event is over. All right, so for free-to-play players, I actually recommend building these. You have chances to get four-star costumes and Omega cards. I'm sure the chance is low, but if you craft enough of these, you'll get some decent rewards. Okay, so there's a lot of RNG with this. For instance, you can get cores and flawless anti-convergium. Um, okay, what you really want is guaranteed rewards for the points that you spend and the points that you earned. Okay, so don't get these. These are a waste. They are a complete waste, guys. Spend your points if you're free to play on the Mad Titan boxes. My recommendation is to only do Mad Titan boxes as free to play. Get your costume and Omega card rewards. Um, you need lots of dupes, okay? You're going to be using all the Omega card dupes to re-roll cards to get the stats that you want. It's difficult to build a PvP set and a PvE set for doing, um, you know, everyday content as well as PvP. So you need two different Omega card sets. You're going to be needing lots of Omega card dupes. Uh, not just dupes, uh, but fodder. And then you're also going to need lots and lots, and I've already said, thousands of costume rewards in order to get six-star costumes, okay? So I think the Mad Titan boxes are the best reward or the best item to craft uh, for free-to-play players. I don't recommend these because, one more time, the set bonus is terrible, and it's useless outside the event. Nice work okay, there. so let's go back. Look at these special missions. I'm completing these every day. They're not that hard to complete. They're, they're pretty easy. I do recommend paying attention to them. The rewards they give aren't fantastic, but they're nice. Okay, they are nice rewards. Look, I got 15 Titan Seals here. That's going to come in handy for sure. Uh, I got a dim Dimension Box draw. Uh, here in Day 2, I got uh, an Omega card draw. Okay, so definitely worth your time to complete these missions. Come in here and do all these missions. The Relay Challenge event... I mean, it is what it is. It, I crunched all these. None of these are going to be useful for me. This is the only one I could have used, but as we already saw, the rewards are not as good as we thought because these badges have a terrible set bonus. Okay, So the badges that you actually want to be focusing, if you're level 110 or level 105, are, I think I showed you already in the beginning of this video, these badges right here for the rewards from the new Blitz Dormammu with the dodge rating. Dodge rating helps you everywhere. Dodge rating helps you in PvP and in PvE. So this is an amazing battle badge set bonus. So I would recommend trying to complete this battle badge set. Um, don't go for those 110 battle badges from the event. They're going to be useless after the event. Um, that being said, just go for costume and Omega card fodder and that will get you further. And that's everything I have to share with this event. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.